let's start numerical on rc circuit this is the given low pass filter circuit which is excited by a unit voltage impulse at t is equal to 0 determine the transient voltage output expression v out t so friends this is done in a similar manner as the derivation was done <coughs> we apply kvl we have denoted v out t as v naught on taking laplace transform here no initial condition has been specified so we will consider v naught as zero now the input is a unit voltage impulse delta t its laplace is 1 therefore putting this value here v naught s becomes 1 over 2s plus 1 taking out 2 common and bringing it in the numerator on taking laplace inverse get v naught t as half e raised to the power minus half t when you have a different kind of waveform being impressed onto the rc circuit here we find a voltage pulse of magnitude 10 volt and duration 5 microsecond is applied onto the RC network shown below. We are required to find out the current and also plot the current waveform when the values of R is 100 ohm in both the cases and capacitor value 0 0.02 microfarad in the first case and in the second case 0 0.05 microfarad. And thereby you can make an inference about the time constant etc. and how the um, output is changing when the time constant changes. So let's uh, solve this question. <coughs> Just like before, we apply KVL onto it. But there is a subtle difference between them. Earlier, we had output across the capacitor as the uh, voltage, which is to be found. Now here, we have the current through the RC circuit, which is to be found. So all the equations are to be written in, the, in terms of IT. So VT minus RIT minus 1 over c integral it dt is equal to 0. Now when we are writing an equation in it, if we had some initial condition, for example if the capacitor had some voltage, we would have subtracted that voltage here, we would have put that voltage here and we would have subtracted from according to the polarity. Here the system is initially relaxed. means Vc0 is a 0. Whenever nothing is specified in the question, we are going to consider this. This is a question of Van Valkenburg. Taking Laplace transform on both the sides. Vs is equal to Ris plus 1 over C Is over S. Take out i is common. <coughs> we are left with r plus 1 over sc. Thereafter, we can write down is as simply equal to vs divided by scr plus 1 over sc. sc goes in the numerator. From here, cr comes out. CC gets cancelled, R goes in the numerator. This is the value of current. S Vs over R divided by S plus 1 over RC. Now, case 1, 
R is 100 ohm, C is 0 0.02 microfarad. divided by S plus. So what would be the value of 1 over RC? Now, just by substituting the value of BS, we can obtain the value of IS. And on taking Laplace inverse, we can get the value of IT. Limit of the one. Now, what is the value of BS? VT, as we can see, by signal synthesis becomes 10 ut minus 10 u of t minus 5 into 10 raised to the power minus 6. Changing the unit from microsecond to second. So, Vs is equal to 10 we can take out common. 1 over s minus 1 over s into e raised to the power of. Once we have the value of vs, name it as 2. Substitute this value of 2 in original equation of is, which was s of vs over 100. And in the denominator, we had S plus 5 into 10 raised to the power 5. Now, if we multiply S onto it, as we see, S is in the denominator in both the sides. So, S V S over 100. S V S over 100 will simply become 1 over 10. 1 minus E raised to the power minus 5 into 10 raised to the power minus 6 S into 1 over s plus 5 into 10 raised to the power 5. Which can be again further split into two parts so that the Laplace inverse would be easy for you to comp comprehend. First one, 1 over 10 divided by s plus 5 into 10 raised to the power 5. And second one, 1 over 10 e raised to the power minus 5 into 10 raised to the power minus 6 s over s plus 5 into 10 raised to the power 5. Taking Laplace inverse on both the sides and realizing that Laplace inverse of k over s plus alpha is k e raised to the power minus alpha t u t and Laplace inverse of k e raised to the power minus beta s over s plus alpha is k e raised to the power minus alpha t minus beta u of t minus beta. So taking Laplace transform we obtain, Laplace inverse transform we obtain, i t is equal to 1 over 10 e raised to the power minus 5 into 10 raised to the power 5 t minus 1 over 10 e raised to the power of minus 5 into 10 raised to the power 5 t minus this expression 5 into 10 raised to the power minus 6 u of t minus 5 into 10 raised to the power minus 6. So this is the solution when the value of the resistance was 100 ohm and capacitance was 0 0.02 farad. Similarly, you can find out the value yourself and get the result. We will later on post the answer to it. You can compare them and if there is any discrepancy, let us know. Now let's move on to question number 3. The third type of question which comes from RC circuit is of the type where there is a switching from one circuit to the other. The RC circuit shown below was in steady state 
or position of switch at A and at T is equal to 0, the switch was brought to position B. Determine the current in this circuit for T greater than 0. At T is equal to 0, the switch is moved from position A to position B. We are required to find out what would be the current which will flow in the circuit when 15 volt source is impressed across it. Here, the basic requirement is we want to find out the voltage across the capacitor at the time of switching from A to B. Vc0 minus is equal to Vc0. The voltage across the capacitor prior to switching will remain the voltage immediately after the switching has taken place from A to B. So let's solve this question by using KVL and by realizing that Vc0 minus is the value of voltage at steady state when the capacitor is behaving as an open circuit and 5 volt appears across it. So Vc0 minus is equal to 5 volt as seen in the circuit diagram. Applying Kirchhoff's voltage law in the circuit, voltage 15 minus IT, 1 into ITR was 1, minus 1 over C, which is also 1, IT DT minus of 5, which is the initial condition which uh, comes because of the capacitor voltage in opposition, is equal to 0. So that gives you IT plus integral of IT DT is equal to 10. Taking Laplace transform on both the sides, IS, IS over S, 10 over S. Combining together and getting the value of IS as 10 over S plus 1, which on simply taking Laplace transform gives us 10 E raised power minus T, which looks like this.